with my everyday carry. First of all, these are the Badger Tool Bags, Special Awesome Framers Edition. What makes them special, you might ask? Nothing. <laughs> it literally, it's just the badge. So I'm gonna walk you through just like three changes that we made to the Badger. I think it's the Carpenter setup. Nothing major. So first of all, what is the most important tool that a carpenter uses? His or her nail puller. So nail puller sleeve, right on the inside. The other thing that I had Joel change was we shortened the hammer sleeve. So instead of being long, we shortened it and raised it so that it's up high. And I will show you the quick draw on the hammer here in just a moment. That's it. The only other changes is I went with a four inch belt. I don't like six inch belts, never have, tried them. Uh, I had the very first Diamondback bags way back, Jim Skelton was still alive. I hated the six inch belt. I think I swapped it out for like a CLC, something like that. This rig weighs about three pounds empty. I know because I weighed it. This little Petzl, Joel sent this along. You can hang your drill off of it. I don't really use it that much. I usually hang it here. I'm gonna try to use that a little bit more. Ooh, what do I have? What do I have in my pocket? Snickers. My pencil. Do I look skinny? Yeah. That's why I'm wearing black. That's why Johnny Cash wore black. Okay, so here is what is in my bags. When I was younger, I carried everything. But now I have young people that will do that. They carry too much. All old guys know, don't carry very much. So let's start on the left side. That's an old tape and I still was a little over 12 feet. So not too bad. That's here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that was gonna offend most of you. There's no such thing as saving time by having your, by having my tape measure here. None of that matters. Doesn't matter if it's here. The reason is, the people that you work with are probably slow, and you're going to be waiting on them anyway. No offense, guys. Actually, I think I did that wrong. My tape's always in my right, isn't it? My tape's no, my tape's always in my left. I was wondering when I went there. OK, starting all over again. Probably why the bat, it didn't fit in that one very well. Yeah. <laughs> why did I put it in that one? I think my old Diamondbacks, I think I used to be like 20, literally 20 years ago. Because I think, like, my thinking is, if I pull this out, yeah. and I pull a number, I mark, then I have a tendency to, to like, throw the tape back in because it's always wet. So if I do this, I always transfer it to the left. I don't know. Who cares? I, I, to avoid Alzheimer's, I should just switch it up every year. Maybe it's just because you're grabbing it. You're pulling it. Yeah, I think I grab, it Yeah, because I think I'm just always... And it would be weird if I was, <laughs> did that on purpose. Yeah, but I had the left. Mine's left. Get out of my video. <laughs> okay, take two. We're going to do the left side again because uh, I was wrong the first time. Okay, so here is what is on my left side pouch. Starting with outside, I'll work my way in. 16 sinkers. Literally go through one box of these a year. We just don't use them that often. That's what nailers are for. 16 sinkers on the outside, on the inside, eight galvies. I can tack it to the floor to be a helping hand if I'm snapping lines, also for nailing sheathing. Again, this handful will probably last me at least six months. What is the most important tool in the carpenter's everyday carry? The nail puller. I'm not kidding. The world's best nail puller. Well, technically, I'm the world's best nail puller, but this is the tool that I use to be the world's best nail puller. What is the most important tool in the carpenter's everyday carry? The nail puller. I'm not kidding. I pull a lot of nails. Guinness Book of World Records, page 733, paragraph 4 says, Tim from Awesome Framers is the world's best nail puller. Look it up if you don't believe me. The Delugi nail puller. This thing is awesome. Nice and flat. It really gets under the nails quite well. 
So I highly recommend that. It's a great place to put it. It's not scratching the giant calves if you have them. What was that? Canadian carpenter, you made another mistake? Got it. Ontario framing? We know. I'll be there shortly to help you fix your mistakes. Mark Hendrickson, all you do is sit behind a computer anymore, so none of those guys follow this channel, so they're never actually going to see the video. Okay. Speed square, I use the Martinez titanium square. Ungodly expensive. There's no way on this planet that I could actually recommend going out and buying the square. Like, we've all built houses for many years without a titanium square. Having said that, if somebody stole this today, I would immediately replace it. I'm not kidding. I would just go and put it in the cart. Surprisingly, the bubble level, which I've never had until about, a, what, a year and a half, two years ago when I swapped out the heel, very useful. Just odds and ends. Besides, what are you going to spend your money on? Video games? Like, really? Get a life. Anime? Or Starbucks? I mean, I can't be too self-righteous. I, uh, I single-handedly support Starbucks. Okay, and then left side, I'm correct-handed, right-handed. Right, dominant hand is right hand, although all framers have multiple dominant hands. This is my favorite tape measure, the Milwaukee 25 foot wide blade. This is an old tape. Look at that, look at that. My hand is at 12 feet, so that's pretty good for an old tape. Left side, if you're right handed. Um, for those of you, this might be controversial, probably won't be. There is no point in having your tape measure here. I tried it one time. <clears throat> when, you, when you have a, an enlarged six pack, sometimes it gets in the way. So anyway, you don't save any time being able to go back here because you're always waiting on numbers from your, from your apprentices. This is just my personal opinion, by the way. Right hand side, hammer sleeve. See that? See that? comes out so fast I can barely catch it. I was kind of waiting for that. I was just going to keep going until I got the applause. Okay, so yeah, the hammer sleeve, great place because it's not spanking you here. Did I already mention the thing about the calves? You don't want to be gouging your calves. Great place for the nail puller. Anyway, by the way, this is the Martinez M1, one of the very first made. Again, ungodly expensive. Love the hammer. Maybe we'll do a giveaway for YouTube someday. All right. Milwaukee chalk box, nothing special about this. It's just held up pretty well to the rain here. That goes on the outside. Next up, my old Construction Master calculator. Even though I have BuildCalc app on my phone, I use this most of the time because it's a whole lot <laughs> cheaper than my phone. So it just, it fits right there. Call out a number, tell me to, tell me to multiply something. 33 times four. 33 times four is 96. 33 times four, 132. So the calculator's off. It's probably metric. All right, next, next thing, just a standard knife. I pride myself on how long I keep my knives. Just a regular job site pencil. Do not sharpen your pencils. It is a waste of time to sharpen them. I'll show you. Just, just remove the wood. I can flip it over. Learn to use the corner. Also, the Pika Dry Large, same thing. Hopefully that focuses. I never sharpen them. It's rounded from, from use. I mean, those tolerances are tighter than a finished carpenter. All right. Big Sharpie. This is kind of nice if you're writing numbers on the wall, like zip. We can write siding numbers. I can detail and lay out plates with it. This one is actually made to, to mark on wet and oily surfaces. Doesn't really work that well on wet and oily surfaces, 
Like I've tried to draw a mustache on Noah and it just smears right off. So, my pride and joy. This chisel is only in my bags for one thing, prying the lid off of things. I deliberately dull them on concrete when I first buy them. This chisel is now almost 20 years old. I once lost it and I did cry. Then old Kyle found it and I was whole again. So that's it. I still have, um, I think this is from Pika. I have a, a crayon. Sometimes in the wintertime we'll mark things like crown marks. So I keep the crayon. And we typically keep odds and ends. Five inch SDS screws. If you follow us, you know we use the, just the daylights out of these things. There's usually one floating around in there. I mean, that's all that's in my bags. Is there anything else like we carry that I forgot? Oh yeah, no bit index. I don't carry any bits for all the impactors we use because I have two other people that carry all the bits. So. I think that's it. I mean, it just like comes out so fast. You flinched. You thought I was going to throw it at you. Yeah. That's how fast it comes out. I, I like how every single item fits. <laughs> square. Oh, yeah. I should, I should just completely redo the video. And this is my square. I don't think you need to redo it. I <laughs> Did, were they coming out fast? <laughs> Name an item. OK, this is the test. Name an item, and I'm just going to yank it out really fast. Sharpie. <laughs> okay, another one. Square. Cat's paw. Mustache. What? Mustache. Tape measure. Pencil. Which one? Ooh. 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 Oh, and I didn't mention spare. Uh, by the way, Timmy15 will save you 15% on true work. Okay, wait, let's start over again. Hammer, cat's paw, tape. Right. And tape. And tape. Right. And tape. Right. But look how fast. All at once. You gotta jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a. Uh, I think I when I first got those Grande. I think I danced so fast or hard. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty aggressive running man guy. That's fair. That everything came flying out. It's not like when Kyle did a hand. Hammer stayed. I don't really understand why anybody wants these videos. I like them. I do. Like, I, I watch a lot of like what's in my camera bag videos, like when I was in the camera for a little bit, like a bunch of stuff like that. I don't know I, why. I get asked all the time. I mean, it just like get asked it all the time. influences me to be like, oh, I never thought of that. Maybe I'll get one of those. You gotta also think it's mostly people like that are just getting going. And Stiletto worth it. And you're like, okay, it's not a stiletto. <laughs>